This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt this installation. Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel and today I'm going to show you how to wire multiple switches. This happens to be a multi-location digital switching system but any switch can control multiple lights. You can just have one single pole switch or you can have two three-way switches or you could have a four-way switching system where you'd have a three-way switch here, a four-way switch here, and a three-way switch here. This happens to be a multi-location digital switching system and these are called switch remotes. These two right here are called switch remotes. And this is your voice activated dimmer with Alexa. But right now the electricity is off and we're going to double check with my fluke voltage detector right here. And that tells us that the voltage is off. You can check, you can check all these if you want. Okay, so the voltage is off. And first let me go over the cabling. Okay, this is a 12-2 with ground cable that brings the electrical energy into the whole system. Okay, without this cable, none of this would have any electricity at all. So this is a 12-2 with ground. Then here, this is a 12-3 with ground. That's just like uh, this cable here. Uh, this one is a 12-2 with ground. It has the black, the white, and the ground. But this would have a red wire as well. And then this is a 12-3 with ground. And then this cable right here going from this voice activated dimmer to the first light, that's a 12-2 with ground. So we've got 12-2 with ground, 12-3 with ground, 12-3 with ground and 12-2 with ground going to our series of lights. Now going from the first light box to the second light box is a 12-2 with ground. Going from the second light box to the third light box is a 12-2 with ground cable. So that's your cabling. 12-2, 12-3, 12-3, 12-2, 12-2, 12-2. Before we get started I'd like to make a quick test. You see I've got all these wires covered with Wago lever nuts for safety. I'm going to turn on the electricity I'm going to find out how much voltage we have going between the hot and the neutral wires. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the breaker on. Okay, I've, I've turned the breaker on. Now I'm going to turn the switch on. Okay, so we have 119.5 volts AC. That's a good amount of voltage coming into the system. And now I'm going to take my lead off the neutral wire and I'm going to put it on a ground wire and I have a, the same 119.5 volts AC. That shows us that we have a good voltage coming into the system and we also have a good return path to the panel with the ground wire. So we've got a good grounding system and good voltage. So we have 119.9 volts AC right now I'm going to turn off the circuit breaker. Okay, so now we have zero and we can double check right here and, and right here to make sure that the electricity is off for the whole system. I'm satisfied that the electricity is off for the whole system now. These boxes are called four inch square boxes. And what's cool about them is you can put mud rings on them of all different sorts and sizes. This is a mud ring for a light box, so you put your light right on this. So we're going to do our wiring, then we're, then we're going to put on the mud rings. And we'll wait as long as we can to put on the mud rings because this does restrict your area that you can get in and work. The first thing we're going to do on this box is get the grounds together. So you put this in all the way and click it down. This is a Wago lever nut and you put that in all the way, you click it down, you put this in all the way, and you click it down. Okay, we've uh, left a spot right here for, this is the light we're going to put on right here. See there's a ground wire, so we've left a spot for a ground wire. So right now we'll just push that into the back of the box. Uh, next we're going to do the white neutrals, and we're going to use a three connector Wago lever nut. Put that in there all the way, click it down, push this in here all the way, click it down. Okay, we've, we've left a spot right here for the neutral wire that goes to the light. Okay, so we left a spot. 
All right, we're going to put that into the back of the box. Okay, so here's our hot wires, and this is a three connector Wago lever nut, and we push that down, and push that down. We've left a spot right here for the light fixture, so we'll put that back in. Okay, so we got those all back in the back of the box. Well, here's our mud ring. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Okay, so this one's ready for the drywallers. Then we'll move over here. We got uh, this ground. That's the bonding wire for the box. And this ground wire. And this ground wire. Put that in there. Okay, we've got a spot right there for the light fixture. I'm going to go ahead and put this back into the back of the box. So now I've got the white neutral wires. Put that there. Put that there. We've got one left right here for the neutral wire for the fixture. Put that into the back of the box. And then here's the hot wires. We've got hot wire hot wire and again one left for the fixture we'll put that back in the back of the box here's the the mud ring over here we've got the bonding wire right there the ground wire right there we we'll leave one space for the fixture put that into the back of the box now we've got our white neutral we've got a space left for the fixture and we've got our black hot wire We've got a space left for the fixture. We'll put that in like that. And here's our mud ring. So now we're all ready for the drywallers and the tapers and the texturers and the painters. And they come by and do the ceiling or the wall, whatever it is. And they'll come out flush right to this mud ring. That's why they call it a mud ring. They mud right up to the edge of these rings. And then when they're done, you just reach in here and you get your wires out. Okay, so we've got the ground, the neutral, and the hot. Okay, so each of these is going to have a cross piece. You attach your light fixture to the cross piece. The cross piece goes on the mud ring and then the fixture goes on the cross piece. But you want to do all the wiring you can before you put the cross piece on. See, once you put your cross piece on, there's, there's not nearly as much room to operate. So you always think ahead. What's the easiest way to do this? What's, what's the fastest, easiest, uh, best way? In this case, it's best to put your fixture on now. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this port right here and close that down. And see, here's the fixture right here. We got the, the ground, the neutral, and the hot. So I'm going to go ahead and put the neutral right here. Put that in all the way. And here's the hot. See, I, I want you to imagine this is all finished with drywall and paint and everything. And you've come back now. You pull your wires out and you hook up your fixture. Okay, so now we're going to be pushing this back into the back of the box. Here's a, a nice little tool invented by my friend Warren Tarbell and it's made right here in California. So I'm gonna push that right back into the back of the box. Then push the neutral wires and the hot wires into the back of the box. Okay, here's the cross piece and we want this screw and this screw to be horizontal level. Okay, the way this light works, it just goes on just like that. And it's got a couple little acorn nuts. Okay, so now we take the second light fixture, put that in all the way, close it down, take the neutral, always twist these together really good. Take the neutral, put that all the way in there, close it down, take the black hot wire, close it down. So we have grounds to grounds, neutrals to neutrals, and hots to hot. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put the cross piece in place. So 
So this box is a little different. It's what we call an end of the run. So we're only going to have three uh, ground wires all together, one bonding wire, two ground wires, and we're going to have uh, two neutral wires and two black wires. So there's one wire less of each in an end of the run. I'll go ahead and put the ground wire right here. Here's the neutral wire and here's the black hot wire. Put that all the way in. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and put these in the back of the box. These cross pieces generally have a little adjustment screw right here. And what I want to do is get these two screws horizontal. So there you go right there. Okay, so our lights are installed now. I have now put in all the light bulbs and have turned the circuit breaker on. Now let's see if she works. Alexa, turn the lights to 100%. Okay. Alexa, what is the weather in San Diego? In San Diego, there's an excessive heat warning in effect Friday, August 14th, 12 p.m. to Monday, August 17th, 9 p.m. The current weather is 82 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for just a few clouds in the sky with a low of 69 degrees. Alexa, who's the best electrical channel on YouTube? Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. So that's how you wire multiple lights. I did this in a series where the electrical energy comes in a switched manner to this box and it turns on and off all three of these lights at the same time. So that's how you wire multiple lights. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke voltage detector, the Fluke 902 FC clamp meter, the DeWalt 12 volt max impact driver, the Volt Claw, and I'll put links for the Leviton voice activated dimmer switch with Alexa, and I'll put links for the Leviton switch remotes. Also, I'll put a link for the video that I made about the Leviton voice activated dimmer as part of a multi location switch system. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful. Alexa, Turn off the lights. Okay.